Securing B. Hey what's up guys it's Rich and welcome to a 63-0 flawless gameplay here on Yemen 6v6 domination. I get a nuclear medal, I go on like a 40 gun streak, I get some kills with a stealth trap with some kills with an escort drone and I'm using this thing. It is the Chicom CQB and whenever I use this I always think of Modern Warfare 3. I always think of the single FM, uh, is it the FMG? FMG? No it's definitely FMG isn't it on that game. Uh, the single FMG where it was just like one handed and you could spray people down. It was actually a pretty good weapon. And this thing looks exactly like the FMG, it's pretty crazy actually, but uh, as you can see I'm using the party rock camo which is a bit of a stupid camo and I'm not sure why I'm using it, but if you use it on some weapons like the AN94 I believe, you can actually see some kind of zebra prints put on the chicom, it's too small and it just has like this purple and black camouflage pattern thing, I don't know what to call it. But anyway, this gameplay, I decided that I was going to change it up because I realised that in the last... 10 maybe even 15 videos that I've uploaded to my channel I've been only using non-lethal killstreaks just because that's the way I like to enjoy the game I prefer to get gun kills than swarm kills and um, you know that's just how I like to play the game but every now and again I like to rock this score streak loadout which is the stealth chopper the uh, the VSAT because the VSATs are amazing and also the escort drone and the, the good thing about these killstreaks is that they are within probably 200 points of, uh, of each other so if you get the stealth chopper uh, chances are you're going to carry on your streak and get uh, the rest of your killstreaks, the VSAT and the escort drone as well. Call them all in at the same time, which is another perk of these. You can, they can all be called in at the same time, and uh, you'll be able to cycle through them loads. And my man Kenny Ford uh, just fell off the map. I don't know what he was doing there. So uh, this gameplay I was actually going for. Uh, I, I guess it's kind of ironic the fact that I was going for revenge medals and I didn't die a single time. And the reason I was going for that is because this is when I was on the grind to get the diamond SMGs. I've already had. I've already unlocked even the diamond snipers and the diamond pistols at this point and then uh, a few games after this one I unlocked the diamond SMGs last night or a few days ago I'm not sure which one it was I unlocked the diamond shotguns and today I've been working on the diamond LMGs I've, I've got the MK48 uh, gold and I've got the LSW gold now as well or I'm just about to get it gold even and that leaves me with the hammer and the LSAT so that should, uh, that should be pretty cool because after that I only have like five or six weapons to get uh, gold in the primary slot and that means that I will have every single gold primary weapon and I get a little snazzy title for it as well so that's pretty cool so uh, that's how I, I, yeah, blah, blah, blah. that's how I have been enjoying Black Ops 2 recently just grinding for camos and uh, I don't know it's kind of weird I like to I like to have like a goal in a video game you know, where I can set myself a number or, or a figure or just like a whatever goal it may be and I like to grind it out. The grind may not be that fun, but as soon as you get that goal and you achieve that goal, you're like, yes, I finally got it. And that may sound a little bit weird, but I can compare it to uh, playing on RuneScape. And if any of you have played RuneScape before, I'm sure uh, many of you guys have. It's all about grinding in that game. You set yourself a target and you grind it for hours, days, months, however long it takes you. And eventually you'll hit your goal and you'll be feeling incredible. So uh, on that game on RuneScape, for me, I my goal... My ultimate goal was to get 99 Slayer and it took me about two and a half years to get it because uh, I was playing it on and off. And I finally got it this year and I, no it was last year either, even, I think it was like September or something. And then I just stopped playing it completely. So maybe and hopefully uh, I won't be um, stopping Black Ops 2 when I get all the, the camouflages because that's something I'm really enjoying doing at the moment. I've been live streaming me going for the camouflages as well and uh, I don't think it will be, I really do enjoy sniping in this game as well, that's why I uploaded a lot of sniper gameplays, that's why I uploaded a shotgun and sniper gameplay yesterday as well and that's why I don't think I'll get bored of Black Ops 2 anytime soon because if I get bored of the game on multiplayer maybe I'll just hop onto zombies until the DLC is released and then I'll, you know, I've, I've got a new uh, gun to work on for the camouflage unlocks, I've got new maps to try and get nuclear medals on which I enjoy doing as well, trying to get a nuclear on every single map and I, I don't really have a count of which ones I've done I kind of just realised in my head, I you know, I haven't got a nuclear medal on Aftermath yet, or I haven't got a nuclear medal on... I actually can't think of another map that I don't have one on. I think Aftermath is one of the only ones left I've got to do. And here you can see I've got my 25 uh, kill medal, the, I think it's called the Relentless. And uh, the first half of this gameplay was a lot better than the second half. And it's just that thing where people leave in the half-time interval, they realise how much of a battering they're getting I suppose and they leave and it kills all momentum and in the first half I think I got 48 kills and like 5,000 score and in the second half I only got 15 kills and like 2,000 score so uh, I don't, I'm not sure why they changed it to 5 minute halves because it kills all momentum you may have it was actually 47 kills if you saw there uh, it kills all the momentum you have and you can see I'm playing against two players so I've kind of skipped some of this second half just to make it a little bit more enjoyable for you guys because there's been 
Uh, there was a few minutes in here where I just didn't get a single kill for like a, you know, a minute at a time or whatever. So it was kind of boring. So this gameplay is coming to an end. Uh, I just thought I'd update you guys on what uh, camo challenges I've been going for. I nearly fell off the map there. That would have been kind of embarrassing. And also I should be getting the diamond LMGs within uh, a day or two. So yeah, that's pretty cool. So question of the video is going to be, when you get bored of Black Ops 2 or the latest Call of Duty, what do you tend to do instead? For me, I have other games that I like to play when I get bored. Uh, for example, I was talking about RuneScape earlier. That was a big time waster for me. Back in the day, I racked up like 200 days played on that, which is slightly embarrassing. Uh, but you know, it's just a video game that I enjoyed to play, I guess. So uh, for me, I like to play RuneScape now and again, and, and I also like to uh, you know play zombies or whatever. So leave me a comment in the comment section down below. And that's pretty much the video. You can see I skipped to like the end because uh, as I said, the, the video got kind of a little bit boring. Nearly died there right at the end, which would have been annoying. So yeah, this was a flawless 63-0 nucleus kill streak with the Chicom Seek UB. If you enjoyed it, be sure to leave a like rating, and I will speak to you all tomorrow with another video. Thanks for watching. See you then. Bye.